I'm out of here. Oh yeah, we're playing as Dark Pit. Pit is still unconscious. With his wings burned up, he can't last much longer. But I thought of a way to save him. Of course you did. We both owe Pit. You know that. Think of the sacrifices he made to save the both of us. All right. Then what's the next step? Go to the City of Souls. It's just a little ways ahead. It's the place where souls make their final passage into death. Or back into life. Oh, I get it. You want to turn back the clock and cheat death. Raising the dead, keeping the near dead alive. It's pretty dirty business. I know the stakes, but we don't have a choice. Hey, aren't you two just at war with each other? Mind your own business. I'm not so petty that I can't extend an olive branch at a time like this. Thank you, Validi. And thank you for helping Pitt when I couldn't. Just so you know, this is not a hug it out moment. Not to hurt your feelings, but this pit doesn't need your help. So don't expect me to suck up to you. If your flight's unlimited, you don't have to battle on land. So air battle only? It feels strange to say it, but I'm disappointed. Same here, because I suck at air battling, but it is awesome that I'm playing as Dark Pit. My favorite character in Kid Icarus, because... He's just so awesome. I don't know. I always liked Shadow 2 in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. I just like the dark version of the protagonist. I think it's such a cool concept, even though it's really generic, because, you know, anyone can do this. But still. And, <gasps> yay, recovery orbs. All right, so what's up ahead, then? What kind of city is this? It's unlike any earthly city. The spirits of the dead gather here. So basically, this is the underworld. You got it. Huh? Oh. <gasps> it's you. Our hero's looking a little goth today. I hope the stresses of life haven't gotten you down. <laughs> that would be ever so tragic. No one's listening. It's hilarious how you have no sense of humor. But that sourpuss attitude's gonna give you an ulcer someday, you know. Anyway, Pitsu, your understanding is correct. The underworld is where souls go. As you know, Reapers are responsible for carrying souls. But we've got an excess of souls these days. The Reapers can't handle them all. So the extra souls come here? Yes, though some just fade away, and others are, well, eaten. Even in the afterlife, it's survival of the fittest. That makes some sense. The weak are consumed, just as nature intended. Okay, interesting, but uh, this is actually kind of difficult for some reason. I don't know why. We seem to struggle a lot in air battles, but I think we're doing fine. You know, Dark Pit is better than Pit, maybe, uh, combat-wise. He actually plays really well, so yeah, even though he's pretty much Pit. I don't know if I got to choose a weapon for him. I think I'm using the same blast uh, blade as I was using in the last chapter, which I don't mind. I actually really do like this weapon. I want to see if I can get it stronger, maybe... Uh, fusing weapons to make this weapon stronger. I have no idea or seeing what this weapon can fuse into I'm not really good with uh, weapon choices and design, but Yeah, it's still interesting because they have like a whole thing for it. It's actually ridiculous how You know much detail there is in something you can completely ignore within the game and whoa All right, this is getting pretty hectic uh, Huh, what's up ahead? Oh, okay it was really silent and subtle how we just got this uh, loading screen transition, but I have a feeling we're still going to be flying. Yes, we are. All right. Just like a checkpoint of sorts, I guess. Oh, sweet. Heal me up, baby. It's really quiet. Remember when I said that some souls get eaten? Well, here's the hideous devourer of souls himself. Uh oh. Who? <gasps> oh, my God. Oh god, I have to attack the thing. I find it quite adorable, actually. And souls can be very delicious. Luckily, they don't possess personalities or anything like that. What, they don't? Of course not. Souls have no more personality than blood or bone. They're just another resource to harvest from living beings. Your disregard for life is just astounding. Could you be any more callous? Well, I could try. You know, souls are a bit like taffy. Sweet enough to eat, but pliable enough to mold into any shape I can imagine. I don't even... that's just so... um... nah! I'd love to get my hands on Katui's soul. So dark, so chewy, so malleable. 
A powerful spirit like that shouldn't be wasted on old Chopper's lunch. Well, he's dead anyway, so don't worry about that, Hades. Anyways, <laughs> flying backwards here. It's pretty good in reverse. What is up ahead, though? Oh, okay. So it makes me wonder, does Palutena control Pit's flight then, or Viridi when she was controlling Pit, or did they just give him the power to fly? I have no idea. So I don't know if uh, Dark Pit is, I'm pretty sure Dark Pit is controlling his flight here, but I don't know if they controlled Pit. Okay, we gotta use this. Professor Palatina does it again. Oh, wait. If that's the case, there's no way the Underworld Army could ever lose. Ah, oh, spoiler alert. So let me get this straight. All the lives lost in battle go to building up the Underworld Army. You got it. So uh -oh. the more fighting there is, the bigger my army gets. Okay, my thank God. goodness, it feels wonderful to be on the winning team. Hold on a second. Your math is a little off. You might want to break out the brain age, pal. I have a brain age of 24. And that's relevant because... Think about all the casualties there have been in this war between the gods. If Hades was right, the underworld would be way more crowded with monsters. And that means that one fallen soldier doesn't equal one new underworld monster. After all, creating something as corporeal as a monster would take... A ton of souls! But that's a huge waste! Yeah, that's just about the sickest thing I've ever heard. We have to stop it. You poor deluded things, you'll never stop me! No. Uh-oh. Don't let him get under your skin. Not a problem. Um, what do we do then? Oh, okay. It's been great touring the City of Souls and all, but we're here to save Pit, right? Hey, no need to cop an attitude. Just keep moving forward. Get a room, love birds. This was a stream of souls, but so many lives have been lost that it's now a torrent. All souls need to find their final resting place down here so that life can spring anew. That's part of the natural cycle of life, but Hades keeps playing with souls. He won't let them rest. His bloodlust has thrown everything off balance. It's like humans disrupting the balance on Earth! It's unforgivable! You've got to be joking. All you gods in your stupid wars are the ones throwing everything off balance. You little nothing! How dare you! He may have a point. We have the Underworld Army out to hoard souls. We have the forces of nature trying to wipe out humanity. We have the humans continuing to exploit nature and each other. And we have us, gods, who drag the entire world into our power struggle. But it doesn't matter how this started. Now we know who's profiting from it. He, left unchecked, he threatens us all! You gonna finish that thought? I thought so. Then our only option is to take him down. But to do that, we're going to need pit help. Let's get him patched up. Alright, sounds good. Um, hopefully I can make it through this alive, though. I died once, sadly. Um, you know, just spam this crap. Shows how important that is. But yeah, uh, I try to move around as much as possible. I heard you can pretty much avoid every attack if you do that, but I'm pretty bad at it. And <gasps> what? Up ahead is the Rewind Spring. That's where you need to go. I'll bring Pit in right next to you. Okay. And what will as this do? As the name implies, do? the Rewind Spring can return things to their original state. But if you soak for too long, it'll rewind things too far, and that can get weird. Will he turn into a baby or something? Well, I guess for a pit he wouldn't exist, or dark pit at least. So. <sighs> what is going on? Well, that worked out nicely. <laughs> Pandora. <sighs> wow, I sure wasn't expecting that. You can thank Dark Pit for bringing me to the Rewind Spring. He was a rebellious servant, though it seems he still served my purposes in the end. But that l irritating little pest. Time to exterminate you. What? Who is that? <laughs>
<laughs> it's the new improved me. Oh, it's been so long since I've had a body. Eat your hearts out, ladies. Okay. Feeling a little inadequate, Barini? Of course it is. You should too. Just look at me. I liked her better when she was just an evil blob. She's still an evil blob underneath. She just has better hair, that's all. All right, so Amazon Pandora. I did not know she looked like this with a body, but all right. <laughs> Interesting. Let's just go ahead and try to focus her down. And wait, what? Okay. There wait. you are, friends. I finally tracked you down. You're a stealthy bunch. That's because I was using the power of ninjury. Right. What? You don't believe me? <laughs> I think that's something everyone can agree on. Come down this fast, little angel. It's been a long time, Lord Hades. Hmm? And you are? Don't tell me you've forgotten your old friend Pandora. I don't remember you being so... animated. <laughs> that's not the half of it. If the Rewind Spring did this to Pandora, I shudder to think of its effect on pity. No one wants to see him in the well. I better destroy the spring. You can't do that. Come on, Pitu. Get rid of Pandora for good. Oh, don't you worry. I uh, maybe you should worry. I don't feel that confident here. Watch She's out for really the strong. Crystal barrier. You see it's reflecting my shots back at me, right? Well, yes. I got it. So stop telling me what to do. Well, I didn't really notice that, so I appreciate it. Oh, and there we go. This coming from the mighty Pandora. And that's why I listen to Spotify. I know I already did that joke, but I couldn't help it. You only need to dip him in. So far, that was hands down my favorite chapter. Maybe because I was playing with Patu, or maybe because we gotta fight Pandora, the Amazon Pandora, which was pretty freaking cool. Anyways, that does it for this episode. Next time, Lord of the Underworld uh, is up next. That's, that's what will happen in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and mess around with the arms altar, and hopefully I'll come up with a cool looking weapon in the next episode. You know what, you guys should suggest some weapons, just in general, uh, so I can get an idea. Even though I might not use them, because, you know, it might be too light, but still, suggest them, because I'm interested. But yeah, thank you, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!